Good morning. Representing on the unique dish of Greenland, represent Singapore culture in the 21st century, the cohesion of all other races. Now group, we have Lucas, we have Tylo, we have Daryl, we have me, Chihan. Our dish is roasted chicken on the sweet and sour coleslaw on the bed of Panam leaves. Ingredients for the roast chicken are firstly chicken, the butter, roast chicken seasoning, garlic powder, turmeric, paprika, salt, white pepper, and sesame oil. Garlic, white pepper, and sesame oil, which originate from China, are widely used in traditional Chinese cuisines and medicines, thus representing the Chinese influence in Singapore. Turmeric, meanwhile, is an Indian spice and represents the Indian influence in Singapore. On the other hand, paprika, uh, which originates from Europe, represents the European influence in Singapore. First chicken seasoning. Firstly, add one and a half tea tablespoons of softened butter, followed by two and a half teaspoon of roast chicken seasoning. Next, add one teaspoon of garlic chips and one and a half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Afterwards, add one teaspoon of paprika, followed by half a teaspoon of salt. Then, one teaspoon of pepper, and lastly, one tablespoon of sesame oil. Mix the spices and season the chicken. Coat the chicken fillet with beaten eggs. Coat the chicken fillet with Japanese panko breadcrumbs. The Japanese panko breadcrumbs represent the Japanese occupation in Singapore in World War II. Roast the chicken in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 35 minutes, then 200 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. As the oven we use is a modern day and high tech appliance, it represents a modern aspect of this dish. For the sweet and sour sauce, we will be using ketchup, sugar, HP sauce, and rooster sauce. Both Worcester sauce and HP sauce represent the effect the British have on modern day Singapore as the judicial system and the Christian religion are both effects the British have on Singapore. For the sauce of the coleslaw, we will need 2 tablespoons of, of sugar, 5 tablespoons of ketchup, one tablespoon of Worcester sauce, two tablespoons of HP sauce, and some water. For the coleslaw, we chose to use purple cabbage, sugarloaf cabbage, and carrots. The first step to make the delicious coleslaw is to cut or julienne the vegetables into long thin strips. Toss and mix the ingredients with the sauce in the mixing bowl. Then, sprinkle some sesame seeds on the coleslaw. The sesame seeds symbolize the fact that Singaporeans can thrive under any conditions as yet tougher than most crops. The sweet and sour sauce represents different components and taste which symbolizes an influx of different races in Singapore that unifies us as one to live and coexist together. Serve the roast chicken and the coleslaw on a bit of panda leaves to add a Malay touch.
cut. In conclusion, we have managed to successfully create a dish that truly represents Singapore through the use of our ingredients. We use paprika, HP sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and the concept of the coleslaw itself to symbolize the Western influence in Singapore. Garlic, white pepper, and sesame oil represents the Chinese culture, while turmeric powder represents the Indian influence in Singapore. The Japanese panko breadcrumbs represent the Japanese occupation in Singapore during World War II, and the pandan leaves represent the Malays in Singapore. We also use sesame seeds to represent how our pioneers managed to build up Singapore despite the difficult circumstances at that time. The microwave we use also represents the modern aspect as it is a high-tech and modern-day appliance. This experience has been an enriching, meaningful and enjoyable one as you've managed to have the chance to be able to cook with friends and also to be able to think creatively on how to represent Singapore through the use of our ingredients and cooking techniques. And let's not forget that eating is one of our favourite pastimes and it is a major part of Singapore's culture.